It has happened again. An illegal arcade business accused of illegal gambling is shut down in St. Lucie County. Investigators say this is the fourth business in five weeks to be raided. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Felicia Rodriguez. And I'm Tiffany Kenny. But as Angela Rozier reports, this time officials with the Florida Gaming Control Mission were there and they came with a costly message. Well, this most recent bust took place in the shopping center just off of US-1. You can see some of the machines that were seized inside this building. The sign outside, though, it says sweepstakes, but the sheriff says what was going on inside was illegal. St. Lucie County Sheriff Ken Mascara is making good on a promise. He's been warning owners of illegal arcades accused of illegal gambling. If they don't close up shop, the business will be shut down. We've tried diplomatically to notify every arcade in St. Lucie County by letter. We've sent deputies in to notify every arcade in St. Lucie County. And we've been on TV for a month now notifying other arcade owners to close. This is what's going to happen if you don't close. Deputies removed 51 machines from this business located in the 2300 block of US-1 North in Fort Pierce. They brought with them the chief of law enforcement with the Florida Gaming Control Commission, who says violators could face hefty fines. The sheriff's office will store these machines. We will get with our general counsel's office and we're going to move forward in reference to administrative fines, which could total up to $10,000 per machine. They hope the announcement that illegal arcade owners could be fined up to $10,000 per machine will help convince them to close. There's only four or actually four licensed facilities in Broward County and four licensed facilities in Dade County, as well as the casinos but run by the different Indian organizations. Other than that, these types of places that are arcades are illegal throughout the state of Florida. In Fort Pierce, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.